target application. To build the target application, we should done the like one Spring Boot application. We already know that Maven package. How do you do those? The, everything we already done that, right? If you wanna do like, let's do that again. Okay. Now, if you already have a var file, then you can take that var file also. If you don't have var file, again, you need to be start from the scratch. Means you should have installed the Java, you should have installed the Maven and all, all the things. Okay. Guys, do you want to show that also, or else we can skip that part? Or else just I can take directly var file and then do it. What do you guys suggest? Uh, Madhu, can we go first from scrap so that? Okay. Okay. Then what do we do? Let's first of all let's connect the server and let's scratch only. But this is we are already done for the when we are done the Jenkins. Okay. 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 Let's find. Okay. Let's install the Java eight and all everything. Okay. okay this build we are done through the Jenkins. Okay. That will do when we integrate with the Jenkins. That I'll show later. Go to input application. It's coming. Oh, the Java application. Let's close this first. The git is there or not? Get that. If not there. Let me call git. That's done. Let's close. Hello. This is a Spring 3 application. Now you can see here. Okay. Now this is the code we have. Now for this, what we should do? If you do the MBN package command here, it will get a target folder and all right. But we don't have a Maven here. You don't have Maven means you should done the first install the Java 8 first because the compiler is needed. Okay, let's check for Java iPhone version. Do we have any versions here? No. Right now, let's install the Java 8 because this code will support the Java 8 only. Okay, let's try to install the Java 8 here. Sell this. Now, to the Java config Java. What are the many Java are there? We'll select. Now one by data measure for intro table package we installed. Now this is the only one that is there. That's fine. If you have multiple versions, the config Java is mandatory. Now see the Java C command works. Yes, it's working with Java C is set up properly. Okay, next. What else? Uh, now we need a VN also, right? VN iPhone iPhone version. Check the Maven is there or not. There is no Maven. Like install the Maven also. Sudo. Install Maven. 
will get a question sir we are using dakar right can we use that uh, java maven uh, you know same that right but what happened right now we are never copied the code inside the dakar file like as official code we just copy the artifact are you got my point right we never copy the code because in case for example let's say the client you have code is your own and you want to deploy your application the client place right now in the docker image if you pull there like as if you extract that you will have everything the code inside the docker image right no that's not work out okay every time docker run you should do the docker build again if you have just code okay you do the mvn package command now that takes a lot of time to build your application so for that what we do we are going to build the application first outside of the docker file and we'll copy the artifact final output to inside the docker file that's what we do are you got my point right now what are the steps we are doing manually like as a uh, package command that every time we do in the inside the docker file material of the docker container right now what happened it takes a lot of time to download the dependencies at all now if you download dependencies it will be var file jar files like lot of dependency jar files will download right the jar files will be huge right huge jar files will be created no, in the dot m2 folder right you remember that like yes all dependencies will be downloaded the first time and keep it to local uh, local space right local m2 dot m2 now that will be size will be increased instead of that what we do we are going to do first outside and we just copy the that output only inside the docker file okay okay that's done right mvn we already done right uh -huh. Now let's do this MVN package command. See, these are the dependencies will be downloaded from central in the Maven course we discussed. Something failure for this Java issue. Java 8 is not supporting. Yeah. There is some var file is missing. Copy this. First, this issue. Let's open the palm XML file. It's VA palm XML file.
frequently we have here. Three point three point one I'm trying. Okay. Now I compare plug in version for one point eight. So one point eight. But this will be taken by the developer, guys. Okay. Now you don't need to worry about the three point two point five. Is a Three point eleven point zero plus. Still not working. It has the same issue. Point three point one. No dependency. Missing dependency available. Three point three point one. Three point one point zero. We tried. Three point three point one is missing dependency. Three point eight point zero. Some dependency versions, okay. If we know this very well, then we can able to. If not, then we can't. Okay, this will be the typical developer still. Yeah. Let's see how this Into fixing this Maven issue actually. Okay, that's the reason. You know, no, it's got succeeded. Finally, okay, we are done something because we added individual like as man issues by plugin Maven go by file plugin 3.3.3.2.2 worked. 3.2.2 worked. Even if you open the prominent XML file, okay, I'll take this.
Okay. Anyway, you can change this also in case if not work. Let's say this 3. Point, this version 3.2.2 you can set up. Sorry, 3.2.2. Okay, anyways, it's worked for us. Now, see here. It created a you know target folder, CT target folder. Inside the target folder, see we have wire file. Like a spring cream and the wire file is created. This wire file we are gonna move into Docker file. Right? Now for this, I have wire file. I have wire file. I want to deploy into Tom. You know, I want to deploy into the web server. I have wire file. You know, to deploy to web server. Now think about what are the prerequisites for this. Guys, please participate. Huh? Tell me to deploy your wire file in a web server. To, de to deploy and running your application, what are the prerequisites required now? OS, Java. OS needed. Yes, Java needed. Apache. Yes. Apache. Apache Tomcat. Tomcat. Okay. Next, not Apache. Apache 2 is again like different. That's used for only static content to deploy. Hmm. Next. Yeah. Storage. Hmm? The storage part will not come. Apache Tomcat installation, Java installation, OS installation. Okay. The next. Huh. Need to copy the wire file into Docker file. The next one to start Tomcat. It is yes no? You need to start the template, then it will be done. Yes. Is, is there a right? Where we need to copy this wire file? Which folder we are going to copy, guys? In template? Which path? Which folder? Yes. Everyone is forgotten. Template, everything is forgotten. Deepa? Harish? Thank you. Which folder we are going to apply in the Tomcat wire files? Even we are not discussed a year back, dude. Just maybe one month, <laughs> one like maybe two months later. Like. Web app. Web app. Correct, na? We need to copy into the web apps folder. The web apps folder, right? The web apps folder, we are going to copy that. Okay. Now, Let's see that how we are going to copy this web browser folder. Okay, you need to know where the web browser folder is there inside the Tomcat. Now, to all this consideration, sorry, guys. Okay, to all this consideration, we need to write a Docker file. Tell me how to write a Docker file for this. No, you need to know you these are all OS, Java, Apache, Tomcat. For this, all these three together will come like as if you use the base image of uh, Tomcat, it will come like as you know, so come Tomcat if you mention that will be done. Tomcat 8 or 9, let's say that's done. Next, okay, you took that. The next, what you do, you need to next only one step copy this, right? Now, copy means what? Copy. Dark file, where your wire file is located. Oh, let's take a part. You already written the Docker file one step before, right? Now you can do this from here itself. Because we are writing a Docker file there itself, okay? Because if you write a complete absolute path, you need to go, like guess, where it's stored. Target slash. Mm -hmm. So, Madhu, in this case, that particular Docker file uh, needs to be there in target folder, right? No, Otherwise, outside, we have to give the proper path. Outside, outside of the target folder. Outside like of the target root, folder, yeah. Where the format XML file and all everything is, right? Root, root directory. Root directory we are giving this. Okay. And from here, this is the source. Where is the destination? And destination we have to be to. So, in this case, we can give the proper destination as well. Instead of just... 
Mm, I'm talking about good. absolute destination, yeah. Go for the Dakar hub now. You should know, you don't know the destination inside, right? Like base image, what is the content? Tomcat base image, what is the path? You don't know. How do you get that information? You can't put it directly blindly. You never be fix that issue. You should go for the official Dakar, uh, where the Dakar image is available, documentation. You should go there. First of all, open the documentation and figure it out that now this is a target. A million press downwards has happened for this. 500 million, okay. Now see there are a the lot of images are there. Okay, Tom get eight, okay, eight point eight point five, blah 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 blah. Okay, there is some. Now you can see like you can use like this. See, run the default Tomcat service, CMD. It's already there in the Tomcat. You don't need to mention them. Now, what is the path is available? Now, this is the path. Use the local Tomcat. This is the home. This is the home. And after the home, what we have? Then you have a web apps. Web app or web apps? The folder name. Web app or web apps? Web app. Your map, right? Now let me show that also. If you download and extract that your local one, any one of this, then you will be understand more. Web apps, right? Web apps. Okay. And web apps, then we can do you can put slash, that's fine. Or else if you want, you can keep it this name also. That you wish, or else it will copy automatically. That's not required. Right? Right? Clear, no? Clear, yes. Now, CMD we require or not? If you put this CMD, what it, will, what it will do, it will kick me out. What need to be done with CMD here? This is the one. Thumb get stuck. Now what it say that? Array, what is the Catalina? I don't have a Catalina in this file. Yes or no? This file is not there in the in this in this Docker file. Yes or no? It is there in the where in this image it is there. Means they already have written the Catalina.sh in their CMD in this base image. I'll show that with you know clearly. Take any one of the tag here. Go for the tag. Open the tag, any one of the tag. Okay. We can see that tag and Docker file. This is a Docker file. What they've written. See, at the end, they already written this. It's clear now. They've written the CMD here. In case if you not mention the CMD, what you do? It is the, the parent CMD will execute. This is the by default CMD for all the Docker images. You know, Docker. Docker file of Tomcat. Understand, right? Yesterday we are done for, you know, if you not mention the CMD, it will done the parent CMD will execute, right? Yes or no? CMD are independent. Anything you not mention, whatever the parent it has there, that will be executed for you. Now, here in, in our case, if you not mention this in our Docker file, if you mention this, what you do? It will throw the error. Why? Because you don't have the, this Catalina data search file in this Docker file. It is there inside this image. You can't get that path inside the image. Okay, this is the base image, means this is the another image, the build with the different Docker file. Okay, it has that file, but it does not have that Catalina SSH file in this Docker file. Okay, now you can't use this Catalina SSH here. Now that's what we do. We can let's try this. What error will come? Count it colon eight. Okay, let's try this. One step I came back, let's try the Docker file. Okay, now I do this. Do this. Okay. okay. Now, how do you build this Docker build? Iphone T, iPhone, iPhone, iPhone T, let's give the name. My Tomcat, my Spring app, something. 
and let's go just do the spring gap and don't put my my what is my salary with sewers right spring gap colon v1 and dot if i do it will kick me out see you will download the image base image first time that it is available yes and it's built successfully wow nice right it's built but cmd it is not executed right in this case are you got my point right when it will kick me out when it will kick me out tell me when the cmd won't execute no cmd when it will execute doctor run okay i fun i fun name okay my uh thing app I something and i fun d i fun p what is the port by tom get by default a zero a zero a zero a zero like this is your host port this is your container port and next you can put your name when run this oh then no wait i got yes i did it sending home catching on this is running nice oh stage shouldn't be actually even let's see let's access the application let's port it add the port in the security group i think we already added a zero zero right previously like as when we discussed and see the security group and see here a zero is already there a zero zero already there now let's simply access the application get the public ip address thing that not found and you can give that your application name okay come get is running now give the application name what is the var file name that is your context path okay that's the reason what we do we can put a short name here instead of this big name the var file is the context path it is this application sand late this catlin is what catlin or ssh is work for even inside your docker file okay for example let's say you are not mentioned here what will happen i'll change this name also instead of this big name now i'll put a short name just this content i need to copy this var file spring 3.1 if i'm not mentioned anything okay then what happened let's build this again v2 okay i'm to the v2 version it's built successfully now let's run the container let's it's a v2 and this is the 2 and this is the 8081 i'm going to put the 8081 port you know those containers are running 8081 will access the 8081 Edge right one also the port is there, right? Edge right one also there. Okay, edge right one also there, triple A, double A, double A also there. Okay, fine. Edge right one there. Next, what we do? We can see our file name, the context name. Now this also will work. Now if you not mention the CMD, that will be taken by default of parent CMD. But even if you not, if you mention also it's working.